Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Gian and welcome. Am I even in the right place? I actually don't think I'm in the right place. Oops, uh, welcome back to Pokemon. We are here to... Oh, it's this place. Can I, tr can I, yes, travel here. Um, we're here, we're here to do the Champion Cup, but it seems like the the chairman has a little something going on, and here's Hop, but last episode we f we did a lot of fighting actually, we did a lot a lot of fighting, and I found it was interesting that more of the story, more of the lore, more of the mystery surrounding Galar is coming out now, which seems really really late game-ish, like this is episode 16, so I've been playing for less than 16 hours but still, like, it's not like it's been throughout the whole game. I guess that's my point. But, here's Hop. Nathan. Okay. This is it. Here's the Wide On Stadium. The greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're gonna show everybody the greatest battle ever, mate. And set the world on fire. So get yourself checked in. I can do that. Hey. Right. Boo. Oh, in we go. I've already been here, I'm pretty sure, so. So do I fight one, two, three, four, five. Do I do I fight more people? Like what's up? Challenger Nathan, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through the final bracket will win the right to challenge. What if, what if so does that mean the, the gym leaders can challenge Leon too? They can challenge Skennedy? Yes, straight away, I'll show you the way. So I have to go through, what was it, eight of them? I don't remember. We'll be fine though. <sighs> Uh, right, hello friends. I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without Dynamax. Using Dynamax to help everyone in Spookmouth reclaim their pride. Okay. Long time no see. This is a different sort of battle than you faced in the gym challenge. Is it really, though? I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. Uh, Raihan. I'm gonna bring a win my way through every round, then I'll be- Okay, so they do take on the gym- or er, they do take on the- and that's interesting. I'll be bringing my matches to the end of the heartbeat, you'll see. My first match against Rayhan of all people with rotten luck. I always press on the challenge for it, the big Pokeball trade a lot of possible, great never fade. I, it's a curious feeling, my heart is racing a bit, but I can't wait for the match to begin. Okay, hold on, how are my Pokemans? How are my mans of the Poke? How are the mo? Uh oh. I should have healed my Pokemon. Don't be disturbed, we'll be uh, please head to the pitch at once. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to use a hyper potion. Do I need like an ether? Use this item on Lucario. The answer is kind of. Um, okay, we should be good, question mark. Okay, here we go. Here we go to win the battle of all battles. Yes, I'm ready. Here we go again. Wait, no, that's not. <laughs> Carry on my way with sun. Da, 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 da. But yeah, usually I have a legendary Pokemon by now, isn't it? Don't I usually have it before I face the, like, the Elite Four? I know it's not the Elite Four, I know it's Galar, I know it's different, but- Ah! The Chairman decided it was the business that I hope it reminds us that I didn't know he was reading for me in order to lead you all to the greatest heights of the Pokemon trainers of the Galar region. The time has come for you to battle until the greatest challenger remains. So on that behalf of the Chairman, allow me to say the final match begins. So if one of the gym leaders becomes... Champion, do- do they just be stay gym leaders, or do they, like, wait, you? Is it Bead? It's Bead. Who's that? A uh, moment, if I may. Does anybody here even remember me? I am Bead, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bead, he's a challenger endorsed by the Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with challenger here. Challenge, uh, why did I, it's so annoying. Just say I have a score to settle with Nathan here. I'm aware that 
This is against the rules, but I must ask nothing less. Well, you're a gym leader, so you should adhere to that. You can't just come in here and do whatever you want just because you're gym leader. Let me battle. I mean, you would battle me in the gym challenge or in this because... Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. Oh gosh, what unexpected turn of events. You're about to not be a trainer. Former challenger Bede, former, yeah, I guess that makes sense, has come for the one last battle. We are currently debating on what to do with challenger Bede. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask you to be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Elena who asked me to gather the wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that uh, strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through, covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day? At least you have a job? And here I am pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bede's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger, or is it a trial for the challenger, Nathan? My will hasn't been broken yet. Well, it's about to be. <laughs> I've never fought Bede in a stadium, though, so that's pretty cool. Because I fought, ha. Huh? You are challenged by gym leader Bede. A mobile. I know what move is super effective against your mobile. I'm assuming you have six Pokemon. 55, please. I would like some sort of a challenge. I know I farmed up to get here, but 51. At least you're at level 50. Can't be argued with that. Oh gosh. Uh, close combat. Goodbye. I don't, I don't, I, like, whenever I start recording, my nose and my allergies just, like, get the better of me. I'm like, so it sounds like I'm talking through my mouth because I can't talk through my nose. So sorry about that. And there's all the little, little sniffles. I promise not doing a lot of cocaine. Like, uh, Gardevoir. Whoo, that's an owl sound. That's not a Gardevoir. All right, so you have four Pokemon, and I'm going to use Meteor Mash. Because that moves super effective. I have a star. That is a sign of my distaste for you and how much you are annoying, Bede. My goodness gracious. Wouldn't I fight them anyways, though? Like, because she's a... He's a... What am I doing? Because he's a... A gym leader? Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. Why is it... I, I, I just don't understand. It's like, ah, it's against the rules. But if you're a gym leader anyways... Wouldn't you fight me? Am I f not fighting all the gym leaders? Yay, Galaylee! Uh, no, keep my Pokemon. What? What's with this calm expression? Do you think you're gonna- Yeah, because I have six, and I think this is your last one. So, I think, yes, I very much am going to win. Alright, yeah, this is your last one. We'll use Meteor Mash. Close combat will save for the other gym leaders. Oh, I should have Dynamaxed, I guess. But it does take a little bit more extra time. I don't know if I'm gonna one-hit this Pokemon. I might- I'm assuming it's a Fairy-type. I think all of the Pokemon he's had so far are Fairy-type because he's a Fairy-type gym leader. <laughs> That's my Pokemon sound. Alrighty, tally ho! There we go. Well, looks like you're out. You ousted yourself out of a job. You're no longer a trainer, so there is that. Yep. You suck. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everybody my how great fairy types are. What do you mean? Every single one of them got one hit KO'd. You think that means they're awesome? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being mean. Well, I lost. Looks like Bede was no match for Challenger Nathan and his trusted team. Hey Bede, that was an awesome match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this what isn't what I planned. If I was only able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. If you said, if you, if you would have just said, like, I just want to challenge you, 
and not forfeit your gym leadership because I'm sure you get paid an exorbitant amount of money to be a gym leader. Like, why would you give that up? Even if I lost, I was going to be retiring. Uh, I was going to use this, use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans with everybody cheering me on like this. I have no choice but to continue my training as a fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. Okay. Now, Nathan, please head to the back. Okay. That's interesting. I gotta blow my nose. Rather surprising for B to barge in like that. In any other case, once you're ready, please head into the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Okay, I need an ether, I think. But I do not think I don't have one. That's okay. All right, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Hair, what are you doing? It doesn't know either. I just woke up. It's like, got oh, time to record. Hooray! <laughs> the time of waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face off in e uh, each other in the... F oh, so the... That's right. The gym leaders face against off them themselves. Okay, so I'm not fighting all the gym leaders. Got it, got it, got it. Nathan and Nissa, Nessa. All right, this will be a fun battle. I can tell you've grown far stronger since I faced you in Holberry Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent too, but you're not the champion and you'll never become the ch Oh, okay. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat you both in Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you. Okay. Jeez, Nessa. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. I'm waving through a window. Oh, can anybody see? I'm I'm gonna beat you real. Ooh, that's cool, Pokemon. That's cool, Pokemon. All right, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm gonna wash your team away. 51. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Extreme speed. Okay, I like it. I like it. What? Why? Ooh, that's a cool name. With an... Is that a pinwheel for a tail? That's interesting. Uh, close combat. Oh, my Pokemon did get healed. That was in English. My Pokemon did get healed. And that was awesome. Thank you. Now I can just use all that. I should have used that on the first one, but I thought I was low on PP. Gosh, darn it. That's all right. A uh, goal sapod. I can't read that quick. Goalie sapod. Goalie. Sa oh wait, it's you. Uh, <laughs> okay, I should be able to go first because I have the speed. Speed is key. And yes, you you got. Have you noticed that you you haven't landed a hit on my Lucario yet, Nessa? A seeking. Have you noticed that? Because I think I think Sven in the crowd has noticed that as well. Ooh, 52, I see. 52, 52, 52. At close they come, bear, they punch your fish. Wake up, fishy. Yes. All right. Now that I have defeated you, I think you have... Do you have a full party six? I forgot already. Maybe. A Pelipper. No. Don't want to switch my Pokemon. And I know it's probably super annoying. It's like, Nathan, switch your Pokemon. It's like, yeah, but I'm winning. Why would I do that? It's die to rain. Okay, two left. Uh, extreme speed because it's a fast move. I'm assuming it has higher speed. Ooh! Fair enough. Okay, you did put some damage on my Lucario. Oh, or not. You goofed! Oh. I still should be able to get another hit off, right? So I should do this. Critical hit, critical hit. Ooh! Okay. And then... Uno mas. I didn't think that out very well. I should have used the dragon move, so I have another speed type move. I know it's normal, but... It implies that the move has increased speed. A Dredna. Looks like I'm uh, down to my last Pokemon. Yep. I'm still on my first. I think... 
Close combat is super effective. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this game is a little too nice because uh, it does heal your Pokemon in between battles. Which, yeah, it's nice for the player because you can win a little easier. But I don't know. I feel like that's not traditional Poke. Oh, they're back to singing the song, the siren song. Wow! Wow! Okay, I don't care if your Pokemon just got a big spiky boy. Um, there it goes. <laughs> A super a fake a day ever. And that's how it's done. Ba da ba. Aww. You had no problem handing our surgery in Mike. No wonder that you won. I mean, yeah. And the winner is Nathan. He defeated Nessa during the gym battle and now he's pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much, even with my Dreadnought partner, oh wait, Dynamax partner, you withered our ways and stood firm. Now I think it's about it, Sonia was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everybody in Galar has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride, uh, you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. So the next question is, is this another rule of three? This is one of the problems I have with this game. Is it a rule of three where I fight three of these guys and then Leon, or two of these guys plus Leon? Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Okay, let's see. So Piers won against Kabu, really? And then Raihan beat Milo, makes sense. Bea beat Gordy, makes sense. Nathan beat Nessa, makes sense. Yeah, it, it looks like it is a rule of three. Four. S okay. Interesting, interesting. Alright, back out we go. <laughs> I don't even need to talk to the dude, I just know he's gonna be like, You need to go out, take your second one, you just get a buzz. The second one is going to start. Just go out uh, to the thing, okay? go out to the stadium. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the second match of the finals of the four remaining 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 challengers. Which two will be left for the final match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite a surprising battle over the finals of the just Champion Cup. As a former gym challenger, Bead stood the stage, and Nathan was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him, washing away the gym leader NASA. On the other side, we have. The Galar Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for the gym leader, Bea. Okay. I promise you, my attacks will shake your very soul this time. Okay. I will be impressed if you get my Lucario out of commission. I, I will be impressed. Alright, let's see what you got. A Huluncha. A Huluncha. Alright, Lucario. Just, uh, I think close combat's gonna be super effective. Is, no, cause she's a fighting type Pokemon, so fighting type wouldn't be super effective, right? You might have won once, uh, but you cannot finish reading. Alright, we'll try Meteor Mash as a steel type move. Let's try that. I'm a great big shining star! Yay! God of ours level 68! Uh, did that say flanks? Felonic. Fel. Fel. Oh, this guy. He's so cute. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Here comes an effective mood right up Main Street. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm so sorry. He's so cute. He is my defense fell. Level 53. We're slowly. We're slowly getting her. I'm assuming. Uh, That's a little upsetting. Leon's Pokemon's gonna be 55. I don't think any of my gym challenger friends are going to be actually level 55. I think the highest we're gonna get is 56 out of Leon, which is a little... Is that how the Elite Four were? That's a little annoying, but I mean, I guess that's... It, it is what it is. Grapple... Grapple... Oh, uh, I can't read dyslexia. Shut up! Don't make fun of me. Alright, how many you got left? Did that say Sir Fetched? I remember Sir Fetched was kind of a problem. Alright, Sir Fetched. Is this your last Pokemon? No, second to last. Alright, close the combat. That shield won't help protect you. It's made out of celery. 
or an onion. One of the two, I can't really tell. And goodbye. Alright, who's my next Pokemon? Ah yes, the matchup. It's time to dig in our heels, I'm not giving up, so neither should you! Okay, I mean, I, I haven't, that's why I'm winning. I know you're gonna Dynamax, Gigantamax that thing, excuse me. But I'm about to wipe it away! Ah, uh, fine, let's just destroy everything! Okay, I can't read fast enough, apparently. Da, 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 da. I don't know why this song plays! I don't know why! Why couldn't it have been like a cool, like, remix version of the Pokemon song? That would have been really cool. Or like, do 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 ba ba da ba da ba ba da. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I bet I'm gonna face Raihan. And then Leon, right? Does that make sense? Raihan, then Leon? Yay! Oh gosh, I just poked myself in the eye. Your strength made me, <laughs> uh, made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. Ow, my eyeball. Okay, that's one more done. Bears defeated. Challenger Nathan has shown his skills. Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I am upset that I lost, but I also feel satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say that it was the best sort of match anyone could hope for. I hope that you'll meet more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that everybody of those who encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time. Take your seats. Okay. Yeah, I figured I was I was gonna feet uh, feet. I was gonna fight Raihan. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Oh, hello. Sorry, Nathan. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out there that the people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. Oof. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everybody in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it. But that's- Oh, alright, I get it. But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Nathan. Got it? I'll be cheering for you. Oh, Sorry to come in for a ching wag. Oh, a chin wag. A chin wag is talking. Before the final match, Raihan's waiting for you at the pitch. We're looking forward to a great good battle. Okay. Out we go. We're only 25 minutes into this episode. It's got edges to go. Edges. To the slide. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Everybody clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap. All right, nobody cares. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star Nathan, or will it be the trainer that champion Leon calls his rival, the tamer of dragons, Raihan? You've really got something else, kid. You've really made it all the way here. It looks like you have a chub chub on your tummy. I guess that's the way the chairman, the champion sees himself. Uh, I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I've got to prove that I'm better than you if I'm going to beat him. I've re reworked the whole team. Okay, that's cool. I'm ready to see what your team is. I'm ready to see what I can beat. How I can beat your team. Raihan! A Torkoal? Oh, look at the Torkoal! Alright, Lucario, let's, 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 let's get it done. Let's lock and load, my dude. Torkoal's drought. The sunlight. Sunlight turn harsh. That's drought. It gets the sunlight burning. Close combat. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> I have the Rona! No, I don't. So we're starting at level 53, so I'm expecting 55 as the last. 54, 55 as his highest level Pokemon. Would I be right in saying that? Would I have the bestest of guesses? Oh! Again, your Pokemon's backwards, but it's using its shell as a shield, I guess. But, I mean, it should be... Oh! Oh! 
Oh! Oh, well, that did nothing. I don't know what that was, but it did nothing for you, Raihan. Alright, well, ooh, my Cinder Ace is about to level up too. Flygon! Oh, didn't you? You did take out my Lucario, that's right. In the, in our original fight, and I had to use my Flygon, because it was Flygon, not the Flygon, but it was Flygon after I defeated your Flygon. See, we're at level 54, hopefully level 55 is your highest level Pokemon, hopefully it's your last Pokemon. Um, cause that'd be really cool, finally a, a good challenge, but I expect Leon, I, I know I was saying Leon I wanted to be like level 65 at least, but I, I really don't think that Leon's gonna have level 65 Pokemon. Maybe 57 at the most, that's my guess, which, eh, but you know. That's just my personal opinion. If anybody else wants to second it or reject it, that's fine by me. You realize that I am the great Raihan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon. Okay, you just don't let me read. That evolves from a Navalug, right? And a super effective, you're gonna Dynamax the Pokemon. I'm just gonna defeat your Skyscraper of a Pokemon because it looks like a building. And then we'll be done and over with. I know that's super annoying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Hit him with your best shot, Lucario. That was good best shot. Good best shot right there. Good best shot. Here. Why you do this? What you doing? I just won. All right. Now we got to beat Leon. <laughs> Aw, losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Somebody cooking food? It smells like somebody's cooking food downstairs. Nathan seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us beyond anything I had imagined. I'm pretty young myself, but it goes on to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed, and you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up that momentum. Prove Leon's not unbeatable. Nathan has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. Yep. Indeed. All right, the big moment's finally here, huh? I came to cheer you on, you know. It's still not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother, Skennedy, and my rival. Who would I really want to win more? Right, you reckon I should cheer for Nathan too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out here together in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, I hear? If anybody can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Okay, that was it. Cool. Alright, here we go! I fully expect Leon to have six Pokemon. Leon, you have- Leon, you better have six Pokemon. To the right, to the left. Can it go back out? You, oh, there's no turning back. Okay, that answers that question. All right, it's the final battle. It's the final battle. It still feels like we have a lot of game left because there's still the whole legends and Pokemon and legendaries. You know? This, uh, the tents still air on the pitch. It's the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. But it can fill you with fear, knowing that I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer, and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. 
Oh, his last Pokemon's gonna be Charizard. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. I think that's a rare medical condition. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar region's champion, Leon. Skennedy, me and Charizard, and the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and, knowledge, knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Alright, let's do this, Skennedy. Let's do this, Leon. Wait! Hold on! Look at the monitor! What's the big screen? Oh, is it the chairman interrupting? Ooh, diabolicalness! Hello there, Leon and Nathan. Just letting you know. Ooh. I think it's time I brought a about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. I'm a bit in of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Interesting. So he is... Is he a bad guy? I don't know. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Still doesn't feel like a villain, though. This was kind of just like... Forgot, we needed a villain. Lee. Nathan. That video stream was coming from the Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? That's where the power plant is. Shiranayo. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I am the champion, I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before I came to this. Now I'll have to take responsibility for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. He's gonna get lost. But Skennedy, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Nathan. I've got to, but I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I be? Uh, you can help. That's easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark for ages. Uh, once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? Is he bringing about, and where did he even hear that name? Uh, back to Mo back in Motostoke. The statue of the hero in Motostoke. Sonia said something about it back then, didn't she? Thought it turned out to be wrong since we were actually the two heroes since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, the two that uh those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and the shield Pokemon. Sonya thought that the Pokemon might be still sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try to find them, Nathan, but where should we start looking? The slumbering wald. That's it, Nathan. I'm sure it's it gotta be in the slumbering wald. That illusion you tried to fight off that day, it must have been one of uh, been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Everything is super convenient. I don't know. It's just kind of like, eh. Let's get back to the slumbering world, and if we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Hmm. Hmm. It, it, it had an up. Like, we were just going like this, and it had up because it was like, lower. Chairman. Ooh. And then it's like, oh, yeah. We'll find the Pokemon there. It's like, Oh yeah, and maybe it can save us, providing that it's still there, still alive. Everything's gonna fall right into place like a twi like a five puzzle jigsaw puzzle. Like that's how it's gonna be. It's like okay, Nathan, hop. I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Hi, mom. Haven't you been watching all the watching? Haven't you been watching the news at all, Sonia? The tournament is off. The chairman saw uh, to that and is now sending the entire region to a state of havoc. Ah, huh? What? Something happened while I was researching things in the slumbery world? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hamelock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day has thrown everything into disarray. Wow, that rhymed. Good job, Mom. Still, I'm not sure what we need. Uh, I, we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name of the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Nathan? Uh, we're here to search for the sword Pokemon. I suppose the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day. Again, what if these Pokemon aren't alive? What if they're not here? I know it's, they are because it's a Pokemon, but it's like, what if... It wasn't, and we're just searching for nothing, and then everything, the world ends because we're like, Oh yeah, we could have been helping Leon, but instead we went looking for a mythical Pokemon. 
They may just be what we need to beat back the Black Storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head into the Slumbery Wald. I'll catch up to you once I'm done looking into something that has been bothering me. Okay. All that matters is what you can do. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Ah, thanks, Mom. Ready for this, Nathan? I wonder if we're about to head straight into the Wall of Fog again. Not that it's gonna bother us now, we've both grown loads stronger and have our own Pokemon. Getting into the forest after that woo that one day, that was either the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. Okay, Nathan's gonna save, and then Nathan's gonna end the episode. 28 hours. So, like I've been saying, and I'll say this at the end of the game, I feel like we're coming up at the end, but I just feel so thrown together. I don't necessarily, I mean, yeah, I know this game is for kids, but some of the other Pokemon games just did so many things right. And I feel like this one is just so thrown together. Its story is weak. I don't like how there's, it's not a traditional gym battle elite force system. Like, I know they're trying to add new elements, just the way they refer to things just kind of bugs me. And like, the convenience of things being convenient for the sake of convenience is just convenient. And that also really bugs me. But, you know, it's Pokemon and I'm enjoying it either way, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have more to say at the end of the game. But, I thank you guys so much for watching, if it's anything you'd like me to do, review, or play, please leave it down in the comments below, and why not like and subscribe, so thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.